All right, so Carpix here with me. Uh, we're back at this place. I tested out my flail mower here. We're testing out another unique machine today. It's a ride-on. I believe it's the first of its kind in Australia. I'm not 100% sure. It will be here shortly. Um, I wonder how much this is growing back. There's plenty of grass to mow here. If you saw me test the flail mower with that, that drone video, I did it here. This has grown back so quickly. This will be good to test the other. Wow, look at this. A uh, couple of weeks maybe? Yeah, probably good that it's gonna get another cut today. This is where the pool was too, the dirty pool where stuff was going in. Uh, yeah, I have no idea how this will go. Well, oh no, they bought the robot too, it looks like. They have a robotic the robot like 60 grand one, you know, like the proper commercial one. So it looks like there might be a couple of things to try here, which I wasn't expecting. Can you believe we might be trying two remote control mowers in? One day? Yeah. Without planning it. Oh, and the bloody... Wow. How do you reckon you pronounce that, Karthik? Altoz. Altoz. We've got the Altoz, a Raymo, and a Razorback. I have tried a Razorback before. So many toys. Jim, how are you? Good. Lawson? Lawson, that's right. Nice yeah. to meet you. Thanks for coming out. Good I wasn't expecting. Oh, this is Carthic. And uh, this is the beast, hey? That's it. What's you your name? Cameron. Nice to meet you, mate. Good. Yeah. Okay. Wow. There you go. Good. That's um, big, isn't it? We'll get it off and. What's um, your usual process? Well, no, I, I don't do a lot of these demos. Normally, stuff is it's smaller stuff that's sent to me and I just make my videos or whatever, but. Um, I don't think you guys were just going to send me one of these, so... <laughs> um, yeah, if you want to get it off, maybe we can start the front or the back, because there's plenty to mow here, it's... Yeah, sure. Yeah, and that's the Raymo, the... Yeah, yeah, we've got the Raymo and Raymo. It's funny, I, I've tried my first remote control mower today, oh, you ever. Um, it's, it's this is... No, this is, this is a um, more residential style, 21 inch. Uh, it was, it was kind of interesting, a bit more fun. It's got a DJI style remote, like it's, yeah. it's that sort of vibe, but. So it's not a set and forget thing? No. You can't set it. So just as easy to manoeuvre? Yeah, it's quite like a, quite like a standard Geocoon lap bar mid-mount machine. Is, is this? The first of its kind in Australia? This is the first of its kind in the world, actually. In the world, okay. First track machine. And, and this is the big thing about it, the, the tracks on it. And the positive for that, or the, the advantage with that, is it's going to be able to get through wet stuff. And wet stuff, yeah. got, uh, hillside stability. Yeah. You've got so much more rubber on the ground. Yeah, okay. And what about downsides? Like, what's the trade-off? Is there any... There must be some sort of trade-off well, there. Yeah. If you could rip up the grass a bit more, yeah. So it's just putting it straight into a corner, doing exactly. I don't know what's happened here. Yeah, okay. No. Oh, I mean, you do that with the tire anyway. Yeah, but yeah. so you just got to be careful turning. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this one here's got the the all-terrain tracks on it. Yeah. More aggressive track. You can get a smoother turf track. Okay. But on something like this, it's going to be yeah. fine. Yeah. And what sort of deck have we got? Are they interchangeable decks? They, no, not, they're not an interchangeable deck. No? Um, so you buy it with a type of deck, yeah, which this correct. one's the all-terrain, so is that for stuff a little bit rougher? That's correct, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's an all-terrain deck. You've got your open front there on the deck. This is a rear discharge as well. Rear, okay. Um, you can also get a turf finishing deck with a side discharge. Okay. And 66 inch cut. That's correct, yep. I've only tried the smaller stuff, so it'll be interesting to try. Anything else unique about it? Um, they're quite comfortable like, yeah. against a wheeled machine. If you just think of it like a wheel, like that, that's going to be bouncing along. Yeah. With this here, it kind of just glides over any any ruts or bumps. Okay. I, I mean, I haven't used any tracked equipment, so it's going to be interesting to to see how it does ride. Do you know the exact pricing on it yet? Uh, 
Um, so this one as it is, is 49... 500? Okay. 500, yeah, so, um, so the guts are 50 grand. Yeah, so that is the top of the range. Oh, okay. Then, so yeah. what, if you step down, what's the, what's the step down? All right, well we might just rip in, cut some grass. Yeah. You right to do that or, yeah? No point scalping it or whatever, it's just a... Oh, so it's got a... Oh. So that's how you adjust the height, just yeah. wind that dial. Yeah. So you've got seven inches down to three inches. Okay. Is it about to run out of fuel? No, it's not. I've got two tanks. Oh, okay. I've got two tanks. I've got 52 litres. Dual tank, 52 litre. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I didn't see that go up or down. No, I don't Oh, there. Okay. This right here, you take the pressure off the deck. Yep. And you can put it back up in transport mode. Yep. Change it. Turn it here. And then this is just a release button. That's pretty easy, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Quite a heavy deck though, so. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, so that's your ignition there. Yeah. Pretty easy. Handbrake down. Yeah. But it also tells you where to engage the PDO as well. So you bring your revs up to here and then pull that up to your plates. Okay. Yeah. And that's it? Yeah. Is that alright cutting high? Or you know? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. They're, they're going to be happy it's cut. Do you want to um, have a go, Carthic? Yeah, in the back it's safe. What's the worst looking up, mate? Yes. Okay. So I've got Carthic on it. Yeah.
Uh-huh, uh-huh, mm-mm, mm-mm, uh-huh, uh-huh, mm-mm, mm-mm, uh-huh, uh-huh, mm-mm.